the treatment options for Alzheimer's disease uh, are in some ways limited. Uh, the, the three drugs that we have in one class called cholinesterase inhibitors um, have been around for a, a good while. Uh, and basically their mechanism is that we know in people with Alzheimer's disease they uh, start to lose a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. There's an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine that's called a cholinesterase inhibitor. Uh, it's called cholinesterase. So what we do is we give a drug, uh, a cholinesterase inhibitor, to make that enzyme less able to break down uh, the acetylcholine that's in the brain. So early in Alzheimer's disease, when there's still enough brain cells around to make that chemical, then it makes sense that that would work. Later in the disease, though, there's not, there are not many brain cells left that are making uh, the acetylcholine. So we don't know whether actually giving it or not toward the end or, or later stages of Alzheimer's disease makes much difference. The other class of drugs that we have uh, is, is uh, it's, the generic name is memantine. Most people would know it by namenda. And basically it protects damaged brain cells from uh, further uh, uh, injury from uh, glutamate, which is a normal uh, chemical that's in the brain. S for some reason, glutamate will attack these injured brain cells in Alzheimer's disease and make them die faster. So the namenda or memantine will protect the brain cell a little bit longer. Neither of them are cures. Uh, the, most of the studies with those drugs would indicate that they may slow down uh, the progression from being able to be at home to going to a nursing home. And that's what most, that's what most of them do. If you look at some of, the, uh, some of the studies that look at small changes in memory or function, yeah, you may be able to measure that, but when you, when you actually talk to the family members, they would say, well, I don't notice much difference. Now, clearly, when you're, when you're treating a disease that has no known cure, uh, there's a tremendous, almost placebo-like effect that can go along with it, because we're doing something. You know, we're thinking about it, we're trying this medicine, we're gonna add this medicine when the time comes. But at the same time, we're trying to do other interventions as well. We're trying to look at the environment, look at behavioral responses that caregivers have and so forth. So it's, it's, it's very hard, it's very hard to decide.